Ah, the sounds of industry. You know you got a problem when you got so many things going on you can't hear any of it. That's uh, uh, uh yeah, everyone shut up. So we're actually still we're at sp whoop. No, that's not where I want to go. We're at spawn, sort of. We're over by the arena. Remember that bad idea I had? About trading with villagers? Turns out it was infectious. Because now we're doing a whole bunch of stuff. Most of these guys were all converted. Uh, the interesting parts are we managed to get this dude. Paper trade, last trade. Lots of paper, 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 paper. Let's see if I can make paper. Thank you. So we have been filling this guy with every last sheet of paper we can give him. Which unfortunately isn't all that easy. If you have to get this stuff uh, manually. This used to be considerably uglier. Scully has taken it on himself to work on it better. And we have a very simple reed farm here. I would have gone a lot taller, but uh, I believe I may have. I would have run afoul of Spawn's uh, building codes on not building things that are too tall and too ugly. I think we have a happy medium here. And now that I look at it, I think I screwed up a couple of blocks over here. Let's see this. That side does not look like that side. So it happens when you build before bed. This is uh, a toned down seam to net emeralds. Yes, this guy. It's always busy doing something here. Uh, this is just run off the clock. This guy runs the torch tower, pistons, etc. I should be ready to fire here any second, actually, so I kind of looked out. And, badunk. Yeah, we're not catching as many as I'd like. <clears throat> In order to properly build the great big mumbo jumbo one, I would have to uh, build a lot higher. However, whatever. But, I don't have a lot of iron left. Still got a lot of pistons and a lot of hoppers. And after, uh... Ouch. After spawn, a little tapped out. Which farm are you working on? Gotta deal with something here. The new guy. Which one's the new guy? Oh, that's a butcher, that's why. I'm gonna figure this out. Yeah, okay, so you get five, fifteen, uh, forty five, and then boots. Why'd you do every trade? Hang on, I gotta talk about something here. I wish the light wasn't so bad. Oh. On the eh. He's starting, and he's talking to me. Oh, you don't so, want to ask you why? Ah, you ask? Okay, now that's fixed. So this here, up there's the reed farm for the the dude with the reeds, and down here, there's a whole. We've got a bunch of we've got a butcher and a farmer, a couple of butchers actually, that are entirely profitable. You just need to have an awful lot of uh, pork and beef for them. So, we've got a bit of that going on. This, I don't know what squashed you. So this, all this nonsense here, and since I build this, I can grief it. This, you, where did you come from? You don't get to live. You're glitching through the piston. 
Interesting. I'll have to fix that. So, this stuff down here runs off of... Uh, okay, really, I gotta shut something off. 16 gigs of RAM! Computer runs like crap. Okay, where was I? So all this junk runs off of a despawn timer. With all this mess, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop over to create it for a minute. So you can see what kind of what this actually looks like without all the crap in the way. Alright, so this is what the chicken squasher actually looks like. This is a I got a nine high tower? Four, five. It's a tower. Back here we've got all the circuitry. This is... I don't even have to... If, if you pause for a moment, you will see exactly how to make this thing. Right? So this is a, this is a dispenser. What happens is... Up here... Chickens. Chickens lay eggs. That's them chickens there. Chickens lay eggs into the hopper. Goes down into the dispenser. Dispenser fires chickens. The despawn timer trips. The block they're standing on retracts. All the baby chicks end up on this half slab. Then the piston comes back out and kills them. It's, uh, it's nicely effective. So the idea is back here. This piston is on by default. You see there's a feather sitting on top of that block. So what happens is if I take this feather out of here, if I grab a glass block, so I'll have to put it back. This and that. And click. So, this here was full of feathers. So it's still kind of full of feathers. Feather sits on the pressure plate. plate. Powers this, shuts this torch off, turns that torch on, torch tower goes over to the dispenser. So when that feather despawns, the plate pops up. This comes on, this shuts off, this turns on, click, spits out another feather. That's it, every five minutes. Over here, pressure plate is down, thing is on, piston is extended by default. So every five minutes, like I just did there, you don't have no chickens left there. All the chickens fall down here. When they grow up, their head immediately pops into the well, into the next block, and they suffocate. They don't live long enough to lay eggs to clog up the system. The other part, if I go squeeze myself in here. In here, I've got a comparator hooked up to the dispenser. The comparator says. If there's anything in me, shut this torch off. This here you should recognize as part of the wonderful arsenal of prank redstone. Oop, something's dying. And I don't know why every now and it does spit a bunch of stuff out. So let me grab a bunch of eggs. Uh, this one, uh, oh, it's under materials, isn't it? Yep. Let me grab a bunch of eggs and put them in here. This shuts off, this fires, runs through there, and should be firing more eggs. Oh, I had a command block ready to go off. So that just did it, did it, like that, fires at all the eggs as quick as they can. Uh, you could use you could use a hopper timer. Uh, this is the cheapest way I could think of to do it does cause that slight hair to lag, but I'm trying to save a little material. Now all that other stuff back over there on the server, this is, yeah, this is uh, Zoomavoid. He's got a better one that puts them all into a one block spot. I, uh, I did not build that one <laughs> because I didn't have the appropriate materials at the time to do it. But same sort of thing. Come up here. Go do 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 do. Breed all these things. They can't hop up here because it's two blocks high. This fence. This fence keeps it from falling in. 
can sit there and breed him and breed him. You could do this. This is part of his thing. Is that uh, it gets them moving around and it's easier to catch them. Now, this nice little bit where they spew out like that, only it doesn't happen on the server for me. It'd be great if it did, but it don't. Right? So, eventually calves get made. Calves fall down. The one over on the server is a lot... Uh, is a not quite as much... I don't have, didn't have as much room to work with. So they only come down one. Same kind of deal. Really? Nothing wants to work from here. Give me that block. Why are you no trigger? Do something. <sighs> grumble, grumble. Same kind of thing. This just squashes them. Uh, one thing I had kind of planned to do, and we're going to go do now, actually, is that when you get done feeding everything, you just trip another dispenser timer. This just turns on the, uh, this lamp, so you know that if the lamp is off, it's time to feed stuff. So we're going to actually go do some of that right now. So, we're back here. And, uh, typically, so here's our despawn timer. It's of that thing. So, da 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 da, feed, 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 feed. Stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff and stuff. Out of the way, get this out of the way. There's a lot of noise going on right now, and I got as much of it as I can turned down. Because <laughs> otherwise, it would be deafening. Right, so these guys, same thing. Oh, come on. Cows wind up down here, pigs end up there. The pistons and all this stuff are extended by, like I said, default. So when, uh, when the despawn trigger fires, right there, see? They fall. The piston comes back on. They end up in there, and they grow up and immediately suffocate. Uh, for Unless something goes drastically wrong, there should never be any fully grown animals up there. Uh, I might... I might tinker around with it and leave that piston... make that piston delay a little longer. Just because, uh... As you can see, they don't, they don't all wind up in it this all back together. So, this was the... This is the timer that lets you know that the animals have been fed. Uh, slight problem. We spend most of our time way up there. So what we're going to do here is a little bit of griefing. And we're going to bring up a tower right behind this ladder. Get a that. Grab this guy, because we're going to need him. And we're going to bring this up. I'll have to come over a bit, because this lamp is going to end up right here. So let's break this very slowly, because I didn't bring an axe with me. And like that. I have a repeater. So we have to do some slight damage here. This block is okay because he's hidden on all four sides. I don't... I'm still not entirely sure what's behind some of this stuff. <laughs> we went a little silly with the construction. Is the hole I'm looking for? Yep. What's this? Oh, this was... Uh, this was to get the uh, all the animals down. Nice big open hole in the world. Close that back up. We're gonna need this. Put that there. Put some extra junk in here. And then... We're going to need a two-wide tunnel all the way up. Otherwise, I won't be able to access anything. So we're going to go... with a repeater. And a 
block. Oh, yeah, I'm on the right side of the ladder. Here's what I'm aiming at. Nope, hang on, I gotta do this slightly different. Let's just herp the derp on camera. It's going to go all the way up here. Hopefully, <laughs> we're going to be at... Hopefully, we'll have the material we need to do it. Yeah, we will want to do this. Not with my sword, though. It's over to you, because I'd really rather use cobblestone here. And you. And you. Use up our dirt. It's getting dark, and that's... Should've known that was gonna happen. Build our house upon the sand. And some more torches. we make a couple more here. Do -do -do -do. You. Now let's use up some of the sand. Since it's here. Some more stuff. How was I going here? Oh, damn nation. I wanted to be on the outside of things, didn't I? Where the hell am I? How much of the world do I have to destroy to make this work properly? Okay, there's where I want to be. I was right. Duh. Me, I'm smart. You and you and I'm out of cobblestone. Let's grab a little out of here. We're uh keeping the creepy things out with rumble. A four block drop with carpet on. So I go like this. And then I do this. And then I get my butt out of here. Okay, that's on. That needs to be oak. So I ungrief everything I just did. Nope. You know, I have axes. I really do. Got a very nice one in the chest. Right around the corner from me. Put that bag in. Up. And then I want to go back down. That should be covered up. All the way back down here. that. Let's do this, just get some light in here so stuff doesn't spawn. If I did that, hopefully something happened. Yeah, there it is, the light's on. Cool. So now, now we know if the animal's been fed. It's great. And if I had, you know what, if I had my speakers on this whole time, you'd have heard all the noise I made, wouldn't have to listen to silence. Let's put all this redstone stuff back. And then, then what? This is one slight problem with these things. I have no sound at all, what's going on? You should be making noise. That's better. 
This is one slight problem with this setup. You get a lot of these guys. And what's weird is if they're standing, if they're focused on a villager, on a slab, they don't burn. Let me bump one of them. You know, you normally start on fire when I do this. Took you long enough to figure it out. Oh, this guy needs having a free hour. Uh, having a mob farm. Right on top of the trading stuff. What are you building this time? Oh, he's building a tree. Yeah, Squally wants to build a village out here. I'm going to try to not show much of this. So pretend you didn't see that. And these guys... Uh, ow. I've been putting some of the duds in here. These guys, the trades just kind of suck. The uh, This blacksmith has... I think the diamond trade is his last trade. That's, that's just not worth it. Uh, we've also got some long-term storage. So one of the villagers in there, he's... Uh, I'll just show him to you. He's a very profitable villager. Trades for three things, and his last trade isn't terrible. And like that. Maybe this dude here. Right, so we get to... Da -da -da. He wants chickens, which we're smashing downstairs. He wants wheat, which we're growing everywhere. And wool, which we're going to place. And you clear the trades of the flint and steel. So if you have enough stuff on you, you should be netting 12 or so emeralds every cycle. And we've done it a lot of times. I've actually got an idea for a mini game for all of this, so this is all going to get used somewhere. Maybe one of those other things that I don't get around to making. We also have someone to trade for shears, which is fine. I don't mind trading. Emeralds for shears means we're not using iron. It's got a build up of feathers. I'm not sure. It's probably got something horrible planned for these guys. I don't know what. But. Let's head back to my place for a minute. Yeah, before I go. Because uh, the stuff that I made here isn't loud enough already. I decided to make something even louder. This mess, which will probably get torn out eventually. Very quick hopper clock. The burnout timer. And a dispenser full of bone meal. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a vastly easier way to do this, but I didn't feel like looking up. So this is what I came up with. It's loud, and it's obnoxious, and it's ugly. Well, at least it's an AFK weed farm. And yeah, like I said, I'm quite sure there's probably a much better way to do this. But it's so quiet. <laughs> so what do we get there? We got 14 wheat. Not bad. Oh, hang on, I got a... problem with the way this thing is built is the default spot for the piston is up, which means that'll... Uh, that will eventually dry out. Fortunately, we've got more than enough bone meal to make a stupid idea like that worthwhile. Now, again, let's get back to my place. Oh, and on the way back, this is, uh... Still waiting on some people to build stuff here in the housing area. I have... I have an idea. I, don't want, I want something that at least looks kind of like my base. So it's, you know, similar in construction, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do with it. Uh, Rob built this. It's kind of nice. Cozy. Tiny, due to the uh, building restrictions, but cozy. We've also got a brand new business over here at Spawn, which I'm not going to show because I don't think the video for it is done yet. And we're back, and I only had to go through the portal once this time. That's nice. These guys in here trying to finish this room. I need to build myself an actual chicken squasher, because this is just the the bad 
piece of junk I built last time that's collecting eggs like a machine. But that's good. That means that when I build my own squash here, it'll be okay. Because somewhere around here... So all the guys I managed to grab are blacksmiths. Which is okay. The problem is you need to make money. <laughs> and the only guy I got that can do that is this guy. Again, with the... Da -da -da. However, what's really nice is that we got the wheat, the chicken, and the last one's wool. Which means... Uh, clearing the trades doesn't really cost me anything, right? Trade five stack, trade uh, five things of chickens, five things of wheat, and then one wool. So I'm always coming up seven. Uh, these guys are supposed to be breeding, but they're not. Because I think the moment I spread all these guys out, I broke the village. And it hasn't figured itself out yet. Gotta do it in here, gotta... I can click on you. Yeah. Kind of a dud. I don't know, I haven't really developed him. I stuck him up here. He, uh, he's got line of sight to the sky. Just doesn't want to do anything. I don't know why, because I probably haven't watched appropriate video for it. However, if I get down here, I do have. Ooh, for him to work on. I just one of these guys had run all the way out. Coal, uh, diamond, chest plate. One of these guys I've run through the diamond trade. So I have my own blacksmith. <sighs> and when I figured how the... What I did wrong with the breeding here, I'm going to need at least one cleric. Because he is going to live over by my mob farm, and he is going to eat... Zombie flesh, all day, every day. All day. And, it's getting a little long here. Oh yeah, my, uh... Bat spawner still works just fine. If I open this up, you'll get out, and it'll be everywhere. I should name a bat, just for the heck of it, and leave him in there. However, down here... I had a slime problem here in my basement. I did one thing to kind of fix it. Oh, he's got a friend. That guy. Had to be done. Had to be. You'll get a... Get lost. You'll get a better cage eventually. I move him somewhere where he doesn't make quite so much noise. And I gotta be careful, I don't want to accidentally kill him. <laughs> but these guys here... I have to figure out which corner of my tree farm is causing all this nonsense. And then something over here, it's, it's definitely over in this corner. It's probably a leftover bit of that. Shut up. And I'm gonna have to build me a slime farm. Once... Once we get an update and all the uh, mechanics haven't changed. Have changed. Won't change. Words. Broke stuff. Having a great day here. Absolute great day. I would hope your day turns out better than mine has so far. And I will see you again in a little while.